Uh, okay. So, welcome to the video. In uh, today's video, I will be doing a guide on, um, like, things, uh, just, just things, you know, just things in general. Um, hold on. So, first thing I'll talk about is, you load into the game, right? Usually, as a citizen, I'll talk about TNI and I'll talk about Nighthawk and Red Cell later. Um, you load in. Uh, there should you should get a free like gun or something or money. Um, if you have a gun, uh, I'm telling you right now, it's worthless. It's not permanent and uh, it's just bad. So it's gonna be a pistol too. It's guaranteed to be a pistol, which isn't good. So what you want to do is. Come over here and throw it out. Don't care. It, you'll lose your passport as well, but the passport shop is right here. I actually have one. I spawn with one. Um, that's that. And speaking of which, uh, money. You might spawn with money. However, sometimes you'll just get a gun and not the money. And I mean, money in this game is pretty useless, but. Unless you don't have any game passes, which I'll get into later. But, um, you can, uh, get jobs. Yeah, jobs. It's crazy. So here is the miner job where you can mine ores and you get $10 to $10 for five orders, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't really do that jobs, as you can see from <laughs> my low level jobs, because I have passive income. But, yeah, that's that. So that's the minor job over there, and I'll just give a tour of the outside. So up there, you should be able to see that. Is my graphics up? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, if you go up there, you should be able to see. Um, those are rebels or uh, red cell, and we call those RC for short. Um, those are the. If you're a citizen, uh, those are your your friends. You know, those are your the cool kids. They're cooler than you most of the time. You know, they're built different. They spawn with guns and stuff, as you can see. Um, that's the Rebel spawn. That's also where Game Pass teams, like hostile Game Pass teams spawn and Rebels, all that. They all spawn up there, except for uh, Enemy Mercenary, which spawns in uh, over there, which is that Mercenary building. Now, there is two important places here. Three, actually. There's the shop where you can get guns and I actually never talked to this guy. Oh, that's the bounty guy. Okay. I don't know. He's weird. Don't talk to him. He doesn't give good money either way. Um. So here you can get guns and C4 hacking device and all that and a time bomb. Um, the guns I recommend you don't get auger. This is terrible, okay? Uh, let's see, what else? What else is, I mean, they're all pretty good. Spaz, it, spaz is bad, don't get it. Titan is only good in close range, and do, please, do not get this. The white sword, the one shots. This does not, alright? Well, yeah, don't, just don't get this, it's a scam. So that's the shop, um, you can here, get, go over here and get a gun, so for example, I'll just get a scar. And now I have a scar, as you can see. I don't. I have no idea why it's blue, but you know it's there. And up here is another sh gun shop, I guess. I I really have no idea what's the purpose of this place right here. But there's more guns here, as well as the ICR three, which isn't in. That's a hideout. That's a game pass. I don't. I don't know why. He got that, but it's whatever. You can also get the Paladin here, but don't worry about that, because I heard that it's getting removed soon. But it's basically a sniper, just better. Um, ICR-3, that is basically a better scar, in my opinion, at least. Um, and the rest here are, are just normal guns that you find. And the last important place... Yeah. This happens a lot at the border. Um... Try not to think about it. Is the cargo gate, and which I'll go into, and hopefully not get shot at. Um. So here is the cargo gate. 
uh, well, we just call this cargo. Um, you can go two ways. There's also another weapon shop in here. I th I think it has less stuff though. I think no, it's just it's just the same exact shop. Uh, I don't I don't know why they have so much. A portal, which is a game pass that allows you to uh, travel pretty much anywhere that you're allowed to. Since I'm a citizen, I can't really go anywhere. I can only go to outside spawns, and that's it, pretty much. So there's, that's also where red cell can come from. They come from the ventilation shafts. Um, and here is one of the places you can end up at. I mean, well, go to. It brings you to the anime event. That's what we call it because of the disgusting picture there. Uh... So if we go to the left, this is the armory. You can also get guns here, but for free. That's that's the. This. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know he was there. I didn't expect him. Is there? There there might be a BP going on. Oh my god! How much ping do I have? I don't know. I have good ping. I don't know why I missed those shots. I'm pretty bad actually, but it's whatever. So here is the armory. Um, so here you can get a FAMAS. Uh, this is actually, this gun has a cool kick to it where um, you can press Q to roll. Um, the only other guns that can do that are the Templar ICR3, which I'll get into later. Um, and I think that's it. And swords. Uh, Vanguards and people with white sword can roll. But that's it. So that's pretty sick. That, this is the MK14. This is... Oh my god. I can't even shoot him through that. Anyways, MK14 is the standard issue for bombardiers and military police. So I'll get into that later as well. For TNI side. I could probably just rush him with a sword probably. What am I doing? I'm gonna die. I don't know why he chased me. Um, there's that, FAMAS again. And these are the flamethrowers. They're okay at best. Not the best thing, but that's that. I'll try to escape <laughs> and go to the other side, but I might die, which I'm fine with. Um, yeah, it is definitely a border patrol. He's shooting at me, I figured. I'm going to use a med kit here, which allows you to heal to full HP most of the time. He heals 100 HP. But, I have a game pass. So, you know. I'll get into all the game passes later. Um, for now, you don't need to worry about that. Now, welcome to uh, Lower Cargo and Cargo Staircase. So, over here is Lower Cargo. This is actually where you came from. As you can see, that is Cargo. And over there is the vent we, came, uh, we went earlier. So, if you took a right, which requires a hacking device, as you see. Um... Ah, bro, they're like on the hunt for me. Okay. Why is it going there? He's just gonna die. He's freaking stalking me, bro. So you come up these stairs. Up there is where I just came from, the armory. But if you go in here, this is another money making method. Um, the safe. And you can rob the safe. I think it gives 4,000. I don't know. I haven't robbed it in a while. There's also the reactor, which is what the time bomb is for. As you saw earlier from the shop. Where you can buy a time bomb. And, and with the time bomb, you can... They're not looking for... They are looking for me. With the time bomb, you can blow up the reactor. Reactor gives you money. But, I mean, it doesn't do anything else. It just turns off some of the lights. So, you... That's that. Um, so, money making method and another money making method. I'll just close the chat for now. So, <laughs> freaking, some people are toxic. So, um, I hope I don't get spotted. Oh my god, this dude just appears. <laughs> okay. So, there's that. I have no idea what the. Another shop. 
Oh, reactor fixer. Okay, I don't. That's worthless because all T and I are allowed to fix it without that. I'm gonna become a rebel if I kill someone else. So that sucks. Um, there's that. Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I'll be fine with being a rebel, I guess. I'll just leave you alone. Okay, no, never mind. So that's that area. I will actually be right back. Um. Because I didn't really get to show you the whole, like, everything. So, I'll be right back. Um, so, ignore that cutback. I had to rejoin the game so that way I could continue the video. Some actually pretty cool people on the server right now. Um, whoa, okay. So, that was uh, that section of the map. Now, we will explore this section of the map. Which is where we could find a multitude of things. So, yeah. So let's go. Um, actually, here's one right there. Over there, that is the C4 vent that leads to the windows. Um, the cracked windows. You can actually snipe up here as long as you have C4, and it's pretty use uh useful. So I'll go up here right now. I'll hope that is a hostile team, a hostile rebel. Um, he's he's called a hitman. That is a rebel, by the way. That's a rebel. Just so you guys know. Um. This is the windows. I'm trying not to get shot. Uh, yeah, whatever, buddy. Um, so yeah, that's the windows. You can snipe up here, and that's pretty much the only thing it gives you. Um, oh my god, I forgot. So yeah, that's the window, and now we will go up here. And this over here, if you're a rebel, which will be uh, good information to know. This is... Uh, waterfront and this is uh, a teleporter basically um, rebels uh, at their spawn they have a couple of teleporters which allow them to teleport to different places of the outside and one of them allows you to teleport like somewhere down there which is useful uh, useful because you can go into these caves which I'll actually get into right now um, you go into the caves and we go all the way through. Take a left because that is a dead end. Is someone following me? It looked like someone was. Nah, it's fine. So we go all the way into the caves. Um, if you're found in these caves, it is not illegal to be in here. You're allowed to. So don't worry about it. If you see a TNI, don't run. Unless they're like a cadet or something that random kills. Um, here is another passport shop in case you lost the one. And here is where you can get food. And this is the cafeteria. If you fly up here, you can see a dining area. And here is another job, which I'm pretty sure is, yeah, the uh, drink mixer. So that's that. Basically a bartending job. And over here is... Dun dun dun! The border! So this is the border. Um, these shields are not usually here. Those were put there by a combat engineer, so don't ignore those shields. Those are there for cover for the TNI, for the Nighthawks. So now, we will be heading back, so I can show you. Because that's pretty much all there is to the outside. There's really not much else. That over there leads back to the whole, um, safe, like the cargo area. Um, you'll figure it out. So, you walk up straight, follow this red line. It's an easy way to find out. You follow this red line. And you take a right. As I was saying, you take a right. Which brings you to the border. The left um, brings you to Scientist spawn. And uh, the Nighthawk spawn. That's, where, uh, that's, an, that's a part where Nighthawks can come from. And up there is where all the allied, the Dark Knight, Avenger, Gladiators, Boozers, and Mercenaries, like friendly mercenaries, that's where they can come from. That's a combat engineer, as you can see. And um, that's pretty much that for it for that side. Um, a uh, neat, uh, neat thing you should know, um, if you fly into that as a rebel or a citizen, it'll teleport you all the way over here. So in case you're like low on health fly up there with a jetpack of course if you do have it if you don't then you're out of luck now we will be going in here um if i even can 
that's the prison actually it just teleports you in there so we'll check it out later for now i think do i have my jammer equipped no i don't i'll equip it um we will be crossing the border for the first time so you want to take out your passport and you want to stand in these boxes and don't cut you'll get in trouble if you cut so you stand here and you wait and even if that gate opens you don't go until they tell you to proceed see the military police marshal he told me to proceed so i go i went and i'm waiting for him to open it and then you stand in this box and then they will scan you for weapons um i have weapons obviously but i won't get detected because of my jammer which is in my inventory but you might not have a jammer so if you do have weapons you will be caught in the in the event you don't have a jammer this is where uh nighthawks can go through without having to go through the entire border and this is the control room for the border it's actually pretty small there's not much in there that's that now there is rex's diner up here i'll get over there soon you actually saw me uh well we saw earlier where that was that is the integration help desk usually no one is there but sometimes you might find a um, integration member there they i don't really know how to describe them so i'll just put a picture of them on screen right now and they you might find them there um sometimes some typically they don't they just walk around helping people i'll get into them later but yeah that's that and in here i believe yeah this is the cashier job which i tried i believe yeah i did cashier uh it's another job and what's the last job oh lumberjack i have no idea what a lumberjack is like where that is so we're gonna ignore oh hi uh, please don't kill me. So we're going to be going this way. We will be going to the vault, <laughs> even though we escaped them. So up here is a pretty nifty uh, hiding place. Um, typically, most people will know you're up here. It's me. I If, if you're un up here, I, I'm going to check here. This is the first thing you should check if you're chasing someone. Specifically, Nighthawks, because I know you guys really passed this. So there's that. And if you go down here... This is the vault, and I believe the vault gives 8,000 cash each time you uh, rob it, and there's no robbing cooldown, obviously. And over here is the apartments. I will actually explore that later. And a portal. Um, the only people who can use this portal are Nighthawks. So, we, uh, you know, Nighthawks can teleport to the vault and everywhere if they have the portal game pass. As well as the apartments, which we're exploring right now. Here are the apartments. If you want to buy an apartment, you have to go here. Stand there and you can claim an apartment. Here is a portal where Nighthawks can come through. I Yeah, Nighthawks. And over here, hopefully no one saw that. Okay. And over here, we were here earlier. This is where you can go. Ooh, I saw someone, TNI. Um, this is where you can go to go to the armory and the laboratory. Um, I won't be showing the lab in this video because there's literally no reason for you to be there. And it's kind of annoying to get into in the first place. So all you need to know is that it's down there and you take a left. Just follow this red line and you'll get in there. It does require C4 and a hacking device, both of them. Up here is the armory. You go up, follow the red line and you'll be at the armory and the door and all that. And that's that. I will be showing you the prison. So certain teams on the Nighthawk team have this um, ability to arrest people. So they can arrest other Nighthawks and citizens. And sometimes even rebels. Typically it's against the rules, but some classes do have permissions to do that. Um... I thought that was a Reaper Battalion. I'll get into those later too. So over here is the prison. I am not allowed to be here, but I don't care. Um, this is the police station. No one spawns here, but I feel like if you're on MP team, you should be able to spawn here. Here is another armory that, where you can steal from. And over here, that, that vent leads you to the prison. I'll get into it later. This requires a C4. You open it, kaboom, and you find a Titan LMG as well as an MK14. And that's that. I hope I don't get spotted. Because that would be bad. Okay. Yeah, we're good. 
And that's that. Police station is someone in here. I hope not. Whatever. Let's go. So I'm going to fly over these lasers. And this is the prison. Now, if you're a citizen, you can go into here with a hacking device. And if someone is jailed, you can click that. And it'll free everybody that's in jail. These are the cells. You'll be placed in jail for, I think, 30 seconds, if I'm correct. It should be 30 seconds, and then you'll be teleported outside. Um, and in here are solitary. I don't know what solitary is for. I've never seen anyone go in here. And this is the vent that I was talking about, where it just leads you back to the police station, as you can see. So, that's the prison. Now, I believe that's everything I ha really have to show you, um, on at least on citizen side. side. I'll be making... I'll, I'll actually do it in all in one video. It'll take a while, but I can do it. Um, so that's that. And I... Ooh. Actually, there's one thing I missed. Here is the IPC Enclave. Um... Short for Imperial Peacekeeper Core Enclave. Uh, IPC, um, they're, they're like a, a portal for TNI members. TNI means Nighthawks, by the way. Um, for sure, I, I, I should have mentioned that earlier. Over here, there's two buttons you can press to open both of these um, gates for, you know, that. And up here is another hacking door. And that, I don't... You can't use a hacking device on it. I'm not going to cross the line because, I mean, all in all, bro, IPC be scary. Ooh, I don't want to be seen. So up here is IPC Enclave and Catwalks where you have an entire vision of the border. Um, That's that. That's pretty much it. There's nothing over there. It's just more windows. Wait, is it? Is it just windows? Wait, hold on. I never bought... Okay, it is just windows. Wait, what? It's a vent. It's a vent. Okay. I don't think IPC spawns here. I think that's this is just a random place. Um, I don't know though. So that's IPC Enclave, and here are the catwalks above the entire border facility. So, you know, it's good. And jump down because I'm not allowed here. And we will be getting into the Nighthawk team now. Obviously, I'm in cadet morph, so I'm only a cadet. Basically, an endless. I just joined the Nighthawk Imperium, basically. That's what that means. You only get a pistol. It's pretty good. Um, if you can click, it makes it better. Obviously. So, cadets. That's what those are. And... Oh, my God. Here's a loot crate. Oh, no one buys them. I've never seen anyone buy them, but I, I think they give you guns. I don't know. Here are the shops for the Nighthawks. You can get uh, different guns, except Augur. Please don't buy this. It's so bad. As well as... And the Spaz. Don't get that. And those are the... That shop, I guess. Um, here you can get the ICR-3. This is a go-to gun, in my opinion. It's the same gun as the Royal Guards, which... I think. I could be wrong about that, but, you know. As well as the Paladin, uh, which is getting removed, so... Which is sad, it's been in the game for a while. So, as a Nighthawk member, it is recommended you join the Discord server, which obviously requires you to be 13 or above. I will be putting a link to the Discord server on screen, as well as in the uh, description below. So, to get started... Um... The hell? Okay. Here is the podium. Um, typic uh, typically you're not allowed on here, but since no one's hosting, you're allowed on here. Just don't linger, because it, it does make it annoying. Here is where you can STS or shoulder to shoulder for, uh, if, for long, I guess, long. Um, uh, shoulder to shoulder, STS for short, where you just line up on these lines, and this is how Border Patrol start. And if you go here, you can actually get cosmetics for your jetpack, uh, your tools, so my X9 pistol, for example, and your helmet. So I could change this blue into red, which I think I already own, so I'll show you that right now. We go to helmet, neon, and we'll just make it red. And as you can see, my helmet is red, and if I want, 
I should be able to take it off. Yep. So that those are com cosmetics. Now there are f four, pl uh, three. One, two, three. yeah, three. Uh, no, four, four, four. One, two, three, four places you can get out of TNI spawn through this vent. Five places actually, because there's a vent over there. If you go through this vent, you'll end up here. If you remember this, um, from the citizen tutorial, it is recommended you watch the citizen tutorial because that gives you the tour of the map. I'm, I will not be giving a tour on TNI, sorry. And over here, it just brings you into here through the door. So that's that. Now we will be running all the way over here. This is another exit, which is just here, I guess. And this is all the border inside the border. But you typically won't be using these exits unless there's a raid. Now, so over here is an exit where you uh, walk this way, I guess. Here are citizens. Uh, citizens are not dangerous. I want to put it out there because a lot of cadets and troopers occasionally just randomly shoot these citizens, which are completely innocent. So, for example, well, MP can deal with them. M MP. M MP. M well, you know. That's all, that's all good. Um, citizens, you shouldn't shoot them. So there's that. Um, I don't know why they've just been ignoring them. I don't don't shoot citizens uh just don't shoot them this is the border this is where you'll be most of the time here you can go here and stay here um and i only have a pistol bro i'm bad with a pistol bro i can't okay so this is where you can go just protect the border really that's all this place is for and if you go into here, this is where you can operate the border. You can press this button, open gate 1 to open that side of the gate, open gate 2 to open this side. And if both doors are closed and there's a citizen in the box, you can press scan. They'll scan and it'll say valid if they're clear and it'll say invalid and it'll show all the guns that they have. And if they're invalid, you ask a uh, military police to arrest them or uh, kill them yourself. So there's that. And out here is the border as you can see i'm not giving you another tour so and and here is the transference area where you can go into the scanner as well as here where you can go into the scanner from out here now up here are the catwalks so let's say for example that you did um exit from that door i actually didn't show this door that's my bad um if you walk out the same door um that's ipc enclave by the way if you walk out this door, instead of going here, you would take a left. It's pretty simple. And let's say, for example, you climbed the ladders onto the catwalks. This is the fastest way to border without a jetpack. And it brings you to the catwalks in which you can go up here and snipe or do whatever. And in here are the ventilation shafts. And here is a door. Uh, if you're a citizen, you're going to need C4 to open that. This vent on the right brings you to the control room. This one in the middle brings you to the scanner room. And over here is, well, just the catwalks. Um, that's that for TNI, really. Ooh, ooh, no, it isn't. Sometimes a little message will pop up in chat allowing you to raid, uh, well, no, allowing you to show who's raiding the vault. It'll play an alarm, and you'll have to run to the vault and stop anyone that's trying to rob it. So, for example, I'll go to the vault. I won't go inside because I'm not allowed to. I'll just show the inside, but I won't go inside. So, over here. That's the money. These lasers can actually be uh, turned off by TNI or someone with a hacking device. That's pretty much it, though. And over there is the money. 
So that's that. That's it for Nighthawks. Uh, remember, that's a hiding spot. Um, that's it for Nighthawks, really. Um, I can't think of anything else for Nighthawks. Except for ally teams. But ally team- No, you know what? Al yeah, allies like Dark Knights and Game Pass teams, they should follow this. Same tutorial, really. That is really not much. Oh, as you can see here, someone opened it. It was an enemy mercenary. I can't- I don't stand a chance. I just don't. Because I don't have any good guns. Is he running from me? There's no way he's running from me. He's... What? We're just gonna ignore him, honestly. Uh, next tutorial. So, sometimes, you'll progress further than Cadet. This is known as a trooper. Instead of only a pistol, they get an M16A4. An actual automatic rifle. You know, gaming, all that. Um, to get this, you require tw you can click here, and you can check your honor. Right now I have 574, but to get the trooper, you need 20. Alright? And after trooper, you can get a master sergeant morph, which is, if I get 800, I'll get it. And then after that, there's an enzyme morph, which requires, I think, 2,500 honor? It's, it's a lot of honor. Um, you can earn honor by either... This, this way is slower, but easier. You can go to here, quests, and honor. And you can patrol the border gate, the safe, the vaults, and other honor. And they'll give you two honor each time you complete one. Or alternatively... You can go to the Discord server and go to Shouts or Border Events. Shouts, Border Events, and I believe Assault Operations. I could be wrong. But Border Events, these are basically your Border Patrols. And here they give you a 6 honor for just attending the entire thing. These typically ask, uh, last like maybe 35 minutes. They do take a while, but it is worth the time, trust me. And that's that. Now I will be getting into divisions. So if we actually scroll up a bit, you can find division information. We can go here and look at all these divisions. That's crazy, bro. That's, that's insane. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there's military police. I'll get into this later. For now, we should probably focus on the ones that you can join. Citizen, I mean, oh my god, Citizen, Reaper Battalion, these basically, um, border defense, as it says here, these guys get a SCAR NRB, which is basically a, a buff SCAR L. Uh, it's free to join, and once you join, I believe you become a conscript, and then you need to get 20 Reaper Battalion honor, honor. and once you do that, you can be can become a Reaper and go into Reaper Morph. Um, I'll actually, I don't think anyone has the morph in here. Uh, it doesn't matter. So there's that. Uh, and then there's combat engineers. I, uh, no, it's not free to join. You do have to apply here, which you can find here, but I'm not giving out the answers and all that. Um, but all the answers should be in the guidelines, as you can see here. Um, all the answers are in these guidelines somewhere. You just have to go through and read them. Just go out of your way and read them, and you should be good. So that's that. And military the po police is the same as combat engineers. You do have to apply, and but you can find all the uh, the answers in the guidelines for military police. Um, yeah, and just read through all this. It talks about law and like all the points and things you just should know, as well as the hierarchy and just all that. I won't be going into that in this video because that's kind of advanced stuff. Now, Vanguards is another free to join division, and uh, yeah, that's it. They're they're the sword division, and I think you need thirty or forty honor. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anyone knows, uh, I haven't been a Vanguard in a while, so. And they're just swords. Uh, if you don't like guns and you like swords, I recommend joining Vanguards. Now, <sighs> I'm gonna sit back for this one. For you clanners out there. Who actually want to join TNI to clan? 
commandos is for you. And commandos, um, to join, you need to attend two commando evaluation uh, trainings, which are basically just tryouts. And they function as practice raids. I won't get into them. But you can find them in division events. They're, they're, uh, they are shout, uh, shouted here like a lot, as you can see. And sometimes... What? What's this? Royal Guard? Yep. You heard me right. If you are a corporal within the uh, Nighthawk Imperium or above, you can become a Royal Guard, assuming you pass the tryout. I actually have no idea how the tryouts go, so forgive me. I, I've never attended one. I ne I've never bothered. I don't like Royal Guards. So that's that. And that's pretty much it. Um, now, focuses. This is... I'm only going to go over them briefly, because this is only something that you'll only get interested in after you become, like, invested into the group. Progression focus, this deals with, like, promotions to officers. So, let's say you are a... I don't know. Let's say you're an Enzyme right now, and you want to become a second lieutenant. Well, to do that, you got to go through progression and apply. No, well, not, not apply for the progression focus. There's a whole separate channel in here. I won't leak anything because I'm not allowed to, I don't think, but... You'll, you'll learn once you become an officer, uh, like a sub-officer, like Enzyme or Sergeant and all that. Now, Competency Committee, th these are basically uh, like, I don't know, they're just Justice Committee based. They're just Justice Committee if you're not a lieutenant. And Justice Committee is like enforcing the law, like the rules. Not like military police, it enforces like all the rules. Like these guys really crack down hard, so... Liaison, this is for officers. Um, if you're a non-commissioned officer, you can join Liaison. And basically what it is, is that you can host events for officers. Now, Integration Focus is unique in its own way. Um, they help new members. They help new members, which is cool. Um, Sub-lieutenants and above can bypass sub second lieutenants. So if like, you're a second lieutenant and you don't want to apply... You can just, hey, can I join? Sure, they'll just let you in. And I believe, yeah, if you're in justice, um, you can join compet, uh, compet, this, you can join this uh, just for asking if you're in justice committee. Community focus is, um, basically it allows you to host like game nights, which are in shouts. It allows you to host game nights. That's not a game. <laughs> Here's a game night. Um, role plays, all this jazz, game nights and stuff, murder mystery. I don't know why they're not removing the murder mystery stuff, but it's whatever. So that's that. Um, that's just if you want to have fun and host events. And it, uh, auditors, these guys are like lore writers from what I understand. I could be wrong. I, I really don't know. I've, I haven't been into focuses. Warfare focus. I know a lot about this because people won't shut up about it. Um, if you're a trooper, you have to apply. But if you're a lieutenant, you can just go in. And warfare focus allows you to host combat trainings and practice raids. So, and DTs and all that. This is for like planning, by the way. So, as you can see here, how this was a raid simulation. This guy is a warfare member, as you can see here. So, yeah, there's that. Um, and that's it for TNI. Uh, really? Oh, here you can check your honor by going into bot commands and typing C exclamation point XP. And if you type that, it'll show your EXP. And, well, your honor. It'll show your honor. You can also say NXP, but I mean, I just say CXP because it's faster and I'm used to it. So, yeah, there's that. Here, trooper, you know. Now we will get on to Red Cell. With Red Cell, um, there's three different morphs for the normal morphs. There's Follower, which which only gives you a pistol. It gives you this pistol, X9 Pistol R for Rebel. That's what it gives you. And if you are a, I think it's Militant, instead of a Scar L, it gives you an M16A4 Rebel variant. So you know how as a trooper you would get the M16A4? Well, as a red cell, you get it too. Just red. 
and if you are they're at the rank of insurgent or fanatic or revolutionary you get the scar l for completely free and now so over here this is where you can also uh for red cell you can host events and all that so here's the podium and all that and over here you can sts and all that here is waterfront i told you about this caves i told you about this foothills i told you about this here are the game pass the evil game passes well not evil the nice game passes technically in lore now weapon shop basic stuff and over here is a teleporter this teleporter is worthless don't go here and a skin shop now there's three divisions in the red cell um so uh there's i'll just get into this one because you guys might be into this one i'm not in it obviously i'm not in this one but from what i understand to join you need to go through three phases you need to for the first phase you need to attend a border raid just a normal border raid really i'll get into those later just a normal border raid also red still has the same system with honor you need to attend a border raid a red uh like in the event phase one border raid and once you attend that you need to pass uh they'll have you be in a voice chat and you have to talk to people and all that it's pretty it's pretty weird sometimes but it's cool and um that's it and you just kill and try to communicate as a team to completely cause chaos in the border so there's that and then there's phase two which from what i understand is a border raid again but instead of it being with random people it's with actual special forces members specters so that one is a little more serious because obviously you're going up with, you're you're going with the the you know the top dogs basically and they'll let you know how you do and phase three is when you get officially accepted but the problem is you need to get three points three activity points and with three activity points um to get those you have to from what i understand uh one of them you can get them from getting an officer vote and winning so officers inspectors they like they like how you do you perform good and all that and one of them at least has to be an officer vote if you don't get an officer vote you're not getting in and another way is to complete tasks which are assigned every uh they're assigned bi-weekly so so every two weeks they assign tasks you complete them you get two points from that because you can only get two points for those you need an officer uh recommendation then there's templars which are basically the sword division like vanguards but for red cell which are the they get the icr3 t which is what i talked about in the citizen tutorial which allows you to roll and they get a long sword and a red sword for free and a pistol obviously uh, and then there is chimera i'm actually in it i'll get in it right now chimera are basically the medics of the red cell i have everything unequipped right now but this is basically what they get they get an mp7 USPSP. This is automatic, by the way. It does a lot of damage. And a special medical gun. It has 100 bullets instead of 30. And it heals more. And if you get the rank of Grenadier instead of Berserker, you get a new morph. You get a new gun called the Sterling C, which does more damage, I think. I could be wrong. And it's, it's just a better gun, really. And you get a thing called C tool, which allows you to build. You know how those combat engineers build? Well, now you can. Basically, um, they're supposed to have a boosted health of 25. So instead of 150, I should have 175, but I don't. 
they might have removed it. I don't know why. Because Chimera used to have a blast shield. Which would block pretty much all bullets until it broke. Except for plasma launchers and swords and grenades. So that's Chimera. And to join this, you have to uh, get... You have to first join. You can join for free as long as you are a private or above in the Red Cell. And you have to... Once you join for free, you become a grunt. You don't get the morph yet until you become a novice. Um, to become a novice, you have to get 50 kills at the border. There must at least be 4 Nighthawks on this team. So at least 4. And you need 50 kills. And if you have a display name, you need to show it by clicking your name. And then you take a screenshot of everything. Including the taskbar. So they know you're not cheating. And once you do that, you just get ranked. And then you grind honor. Chimera honor. This time. To rank up. Um, that's it. Um, I'll actually get into Game Pass teams for a bit and show you. I don't. Ha I only have a few though. So there's two types of Game Pass teams. There's the defenders and the assaulters. Assaulters are the rebel side. So Hitman, Assassin, Juggernaut, Bombardier, Marauder, and Crusader are all evil classes however mercenary can be an evil or a friendly as you can see as well as the scientist the scientist can be evil or friendly i think those are the only ones yeah and avenger can be evil or friendly avenger is iron man basically gun dealer is basically citizen they can't be killed but they sell guns that's really it. And then there's the defenders. So, friendly mercenary, dark knight, avenger, friendly, bruiser, gladiator, friendly scientist. And those are all um, defenders. So, I'll show you dark knight because this is, in my opinion, my favorite. Um, and then I'll show you hitman and then I'll show you mercenary as well because why not. So, Dark Knights, they get an MP7, a shotgun, shotgun isn't good though, don't use it, and a USP, no, a U uh, yeah, a USPS. It's not automatic like the Chimera, but it, it still does good damage, and a free sword. However, there's a cool trick to this one. If you press G on your keyboard, you get a shield. Where, where, where's my shield at? <laughs> What the hell? Hold on, let me reset. <laughs> what the hell? My shield was not there. Hold on. I'll try this again. Okay. If we press G. <laughs> I guess the shields are bugged right now. I don't know. Um, But you're supposed to get a shield and it gives you extra. Uh, oh, there it is. It's just really laggy. Wow. And it gives you 50 armor points. Only to the shield. So if you get shot at from behind, you're still going to lose health. Remember that. So that's Dark Knight. And if we go back to the Game Pass team. And we go to Mercenary. Friendly. For example. We spawn in the same place. And we get a FAMAS. As I said earlier, you can press Q to roll with. You get dual swords. Uh, dual revolvers. And dual MP7s. So it's good. And another thing, if you go to settings, if you have the Jetpack Game Pass, only works if you have it. You can go to settings, and it has its own special Jetpack, which flies faster and it uses less fuel. It's overall an upgrade. So, for example, I'll just uh, I'll just go out and see if I can kill like maybe three to four rebels, and then I'll go on Hitman Team. Hitman Team right now is currently well, they killed all the rebels, but. That's friendly mercenary. It's not much. Um, then there is Hitman. And this... Hit, oh, by the way. Enemy mercenary is the same as mercenary. Just evil. So Hitman gets six tools. Paladin. Revolver. Let me reload the platter. Hold on. 
and a smoke grenade no explode grenade so a normal frag grenade basically tracker okay a grappler which you can click so for example if i want to go here use it and it teleports me the tracker where if i click it basically gives me esp for a couple of seconds i think it's like five or ten i could i don't know it just gives you esp on every tni for a little bit and it's gone Morph Disguiser. Now this is the most important for um, Hitman. So for I'll show you right now. If I were to find a Nighthawk just running around, goofing off, and, and not paying attention to his surroundings, I can turn it into him. Kind of like Spy from T uh, Team Fortress 2, if you know that. So here, oh, there's a cadet. So let's see, let's see. He's not paying attention. Let's click him. And as you can see, I am now the cadet. That's a hitman, by the way. So we will go. And we will cause havoc and see if we can win. Um, It's only a cadet, though. And also, a cool thing about Hitman, they can go in here! And that's pretty much it for Hitman. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't think it can open these, though. It, I think it still needs the... Yeah, it does. Oh, it doesn't? Wait, what? I don't have it equipped. Hi. He doesn't know that I'm a Hitman, by the way. This dude is wrecking everybody. So I'm just gonna stay here and... Oh my god. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I'll just play for a little bit. You guys can watch me enjoy my time. And... That's it. So, uh, not much to do really. Um, I don't have my jetpack because I don't have it equipped. Hold on. Let's equip that. And let's equip my medi belts so I can heal myself. As you can see. And here, we will start the raid. Oh my god, I just got plasma comboed. I still got the kill though. And I died. So, yep, that's the end of the video. Uh, that's pretty much it. And bye. Wow, this is an hour.